Hello, this is your weekly plea update. Uh, first things first, uh, there's going to be, if you haven't already heard, you will be hearing soon uh, that there is a new draft use of force policy coming out. Um, it was rolled out to the department at the uh, department staffing meeting today. All the commanders have it. Um, and looking at it, I mean, it looks different, but it actually, it's very similar to our current, our current use of force policy. Um, there are some, some definitions that are new and, and, and things. Um, but <clears throat> I think the Mirrors major, a lot of the language that we yeah, have. It, I think a lot of the changes are going to be in the reporting portion, which is most likely a supervisor thing. Um, they're going to level one through level three uses of force. You'll, you'll see it in there. Um, I'll attach it to this email, but give it a look. Uh, don't, don't worry yet. It's not even planned to go into effect until August at the earliest, uh, between now, um, and the 31st of January, uh, the department's gonna look for feedback, uh, from everyone, uh, to include the community, I think, um, on this policy. And if there's things that need to be changed or tweaked, um, they'll, they'll consider those, uh, starting in March, there's going to be training. Uh, it'll start with some e-learning about this new draft policy and it's going to, there's going to be a, a training component down at the academy with uh, TTD where they're going to roll it out and all of the department employees will have to go through it. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you see something that's glaringly different from where our current policy is, like they took something away completely, let us know. Email us here at the office or call us, let us know. Um, because at first glance, we're not seeing anything that's drastically different as far as like what you can and can't use. Uh, but let us know. All right, let's move on to some numbers. Total separations in 2022, we lost between retirement separations, 252 folks. Now, the next number is kind of concerning because we hired 171 people, which on, at a best case scenario puts us minus 81. And most likely 171 those that were hired aren't still here. There's some that have gone on to different places. Career paths. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, just so you know. Uh, oh, also, there's been a lot of calls. The, the next retention bonus payment will be on the first check in February for those who signed it in the beginning, right? So if you came in later, it's going to be a different, different time frame. But the majority of us will be receiving that the first paycheck in February. So look for that. Uh, I think that's all I have. John, what do you got for us? So, um, as you can see by my shirt, we opened up registration for the Fallen Officer Memorial Golf Classic, um, put, on by, put on by Plea Charities. So if you guys want to sign up for golf, we're going to be doing a discounted rate through March 1st. And then after that, the, the rate goes up per, per uh, golfer. Where's it at? So it's going to be at Whirlwind again. Great, um, great course, um, great. food and everything's right there on the course. Made it really easy. Um, they're easy to work with as well. So, and it's a true course, so it's in, in incredible shape. Uh, I know a lot of people had fun and we're going to have some good prizes and everything else for you guys. So if you want to get signed up for that, go to pleacharities.org and then click on the event tab and click on golf tournament and you can register your foursome through that. So. Awesome. And if you guys know of any uh, companies or anybody wants to sponsor, uh, we're always in the lookout for uh, sponsors for the mm -hmm. charity events. So have them give John Maxwell a call here at the play office, 602-246-7869, uh, and, and he can talk to him, get him a sponsor uh, yeah. packet sent out as well. Or if you have some friends that have some niche company or something that you think people would be interested in, feel free to have, feel free to let them know. They can call me and we can discuss it and nice. get things straightened out. So Good deal. Anything else? No. No. All right. Well, I think that's all we have for you this week. Uh, in the meantime, uh, stay safe. If you're in patrol, please don't advise. Um, and if you have any questions or input on this draft use of force policy, give us a call here at the office. Email us. If you know a plea rep, email them, talk to them, whatever. Just get us the information. All right. Thanks. We'll see you uh, next time.